I don't control. There are two main arguments that come about in favor of assisted suicide. The first is ending the suffering of someone who is terminally ill. The second is ending the suffering or the burden of the people who love someone who is terminally ill. Well, let's take a look at assisted suicide from the point of view of that family member, of that person who loves someone who is terminally ill and who is suffering. And we're going to do that by using this clip from Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. It is arguably one of the worst movies of one of the best movie franchises in science fiction. In my opinion, it's the third worst of the Star Trek movies, but that's a whole other discussion for a whole other time. In this scene, Dr. McCoy, a physician, is forced to relive an experience in which he assisted his father in ending his life because he was suffering from a terminal disease. We also see the aftermath, the after effect of Dr. McCoy assisting his father in ending his own life. Father? Oh my God, don't do this to me. With your dad. The pain. Stop the pain. I've done everything I can do. You've got to hang on. I can't stand the pain. Help me. All my knowledge and I can't save him. You've done all you can. The support system will keep him. You call this a lie? Son. Release me. I can't do that, Dad. But how? How can I watch him suffer like this? You're a doctor. I'm his son. Why did you do it? To preserve his dignity. That wasn't the worst of it. No. Was it? No! Share it. Not long after, I found a cure. A goddamn cure! So if you hadn't killed him, he might have lived. No! I love my father. I release him! Then you did what you thought was right. Yes! No! Yes! Release this pain! Release it! This pain has poisoned your soul for a long time. Now, you've taken the first step. The other steps we'll take together. 